Russ sucks. Hold this L. Why did Mac Miller die? Why couldn't it be you? You suck. Man, there's a lot of stuff that I've been hearing about this guy every day. A person that's just like you trying to help show that you can change your life with the changed mindset. That you can actually be fixated on your goal and achieve it the way that you want to without the industry really holding you back from who you truly can be. Now, with this guy, I understand he can seem opinionated or people just don't like him. I can see where he can be opinionated or a little aggressive or cocky. The thing about it is, you know, the truth is the unpopular opinion. And that's what most people don't appreciate. When you break people of their cycle and let them know the truth of what's really there, it disrupts that routine that they have and have them understanding to see that, yo, this is me. Like, you feel like you're being personally attacked now because your projected insecurities are coming back on yourself. And some of you guys are just wanting to come up and be better rappers and stuff like that because of clout. And some of y'all don't even know what clout is. I definitely think you should look it up. I should put it right here. Now, the thing is, like, Russ can be an angry person. He can be a humble person. He could be whoever you think that he is. The point is, is that he's showing you that you have to have a strong mind to be in this game. And whatever that you do, it's not just that. And if you really check it out, like, read books. See, look, I know you guys aren't really a fan of books, but there's podcasts, there's interviews, there's everything that you want to know and learn where you can receive and understand the way that you want to go to have the future that you want. The bigger picture is simple. Don't let these motherfuckers get in your way. But everybody chooses to hate, and I get it. But it doesn't win. But in the end, what's happening right now is, you know, you have to deal with all this negative, the negative image that comes with this game, especially with social media. And if you're a rapper, an actor, or whatever, you have to use that to utilize to get your way up. It's not just, you know, you go to California and cross your fingers. You know, you got to build a following. You got to learn how to market yourself. You got to be the best. You got to be able to compete in whatever you do. And, you know, I see his frustration between all of this, understanding that, like, the hate that comes with it and also try to be humble at the same time. And he says, what side of the fence do you want to be on? It's a difficult thing, but it's either good or bad. It's just black and white. It's that simple. So if you're just an Internet troll that's on the Internet, I understand you do it because there's nothing else to do. And quite frankly, that's what losers do, too. And that's what people that don't make money do. You know, they're not being creative. They're not building towards their own success. And that's okay. If you want to be in that space and be mediocre or, or project your opinions upon another person and not go get your own shit, you know, because that's all pretty much he's been saying. I'm not really taking sides here, but just from my own personal perspective, I'm just translating what this guy is saying. And he's just stating that you can do it by yourself. Plain and simple. Nothing, nothing really complicated about it. So there's no extra to it. It just takes time. And if you want to be somewhere and you're just hating because you're not there yet, you haven't put in enough work or you didn't put in enough time. There's something missing. There's a gap. There's a reason why you're not on Double XL or any fader magazines and on the internet and on Breakfast Club. There's a reason. If you're not put on right now, there's a reason. And you need to figure that out if you actually want to get there. Like, you're not just going to make it there overnight. Like, he, if you understand, this guy took 10 years. So really break down the message once again and, like, watch it and try to understand. Because I don't see nothing wrong with the guy. He just had a goal in mind, get his music out there, take care of his family, get this money, 
And that's it. The game is just a toxic environment. The rap game is truly a toxic environment. I wouldn't want to be rich than famous and not have people bothering me all the time. If you go back and really look at it, once again, like he said, go on your famous artists like Instagram page or whatever. They're very limited on there. It's a toxic environment everywhere we go. Like suicide is at a different level at this time in 2018. The death toll is rising. Things are happening and it's more common and it's not being hidden. But we're not looking at it for really what it is because we're so desensitized to this stuff because we see it every day in our faces. So if we choose to just get off social media for a minute, build ourselves and go back on, we see a whole different environment. Now, if you choose not to, that's okay. Not everybody's going to make it to the top. That's fine. But, you know, like, hating ain't going to get you nowhere. It's just as simple as that. We're not going to go anywhere bigger than this if we're constantly paying attention to something else. There's a real simple quote that I heard that winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners. So if you're a loser focusing on a winner, guess what? You're still in last place. Run your own lane. See where you could be, man. Maybe you would make it to the top. Really, though, I'm curious to know, like, what would you do? For me, if I got my rise to fame independently and I made money and then I'm in this toxic environment, like I got to really see it for what it is, I'm grabbing my money and I'm going. You know what I mean? Like, because that's not going to fuck with my inner peace. I have $15 million to my name. And I ain't got to deal with people no more. Like, imagine you sleep, you didn't do nothing. And then you wake up, you're in the news. For what? I'm good. I'd rather take 15 million and disappear on any day. What would you do? I'm, I'm really like interested on what you guys would do about it. Because me, I know I'm, I'm out. Fuck that. I'll take that money though. Thank you guys for making it through this video. I hope you liked it. Please, if you want to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I have this second episode for my YouTube. And I'm putting it on audio on my podcast once again. So if you want to look up My City, My Playground on different platforms, just type in My City, My Playground on Spotify, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Google Cast, etc., You can find me on there, even on just Google, ask.com, if they still got that. Anything you want to, I'm there. So looking forward to talking to you guys later and seeing what we can do for the next episode and make it more interesting and get some guests on soon. So I'll check you guys later.